Oh, a little bit late, you guys. I'm a little bit late. I've been working in the garden. My hair is a mess. And I'm putting it up in the ponytail. So it's a little bit cooler than it can start. Okay. Let's go drink the water. Well, the sun sure is playing games, jumping in and out of the clouds. Very windy out today. And, um, let me turn this book. Nope, this way. Let's see if that helps. Today, I want to talk to you about my garden. Hopefully, somebody comes in and, and joins in with me. And we'll see how it goes. Um, you saw so far, I have my tomatoes and some peppers planted. I believe there's at least is that three foot maybe two or three foot of the maybe longer um of the space on my area where I planted my peppers pepper plants. Well I have some jalapeno pepper seeds that I've saved that I'm gonna finish planting in the garden. Uh, to finish off that row, and if I don't use these all, then I will put them in my container and save them back for next year. But I have that planned for the rest for some time today. Uh, I'll be digging, I'll be cutting a hole in my weed barrier and putting this seed down in there with some uh, diatomaceous earth and then giving it a good water since it's not going to rain here for a little bit and I need to water home my whole garden anyhow. Um, then I can water my tomatoes down really good and water the rest of the peppers. How does that sound? Any questions so far? Now I'd like to, I've been, I would been Googling on my phone different things, uh, finding out what's good to grow with this and what's good to grow with that and what would help keep predators out of the garden naturally. Um, Let's see here. Some of that stuff and written here in my book. But I could be wrong. Um but if I do, I will probably talk about it on my oils and wellness video. It seems like I'm off, off on here. And uh, then you can hear what's happening on that channel after this channel. Because um, I have a list of oils you can mix together or spray around the plants or on the plants to help keep the weeds off of your garden. But that'll be on oils and wellness. And I'll probably do that around 4.30. And I'm supposed to start this at 3.30, but I kind of overlapped some things that was going on. I don't know who's in here, but if you will, you know, say something to me, then I can let you know what's going on and we can, I can communicate with you. Uh, so far, uh, I was talking about my tomatoes and my peppers, and I'm going to finish my row with these jalapeno peppers here, the, the seeds that I saved from last year, and then what's left I'll save for next year, or I might be the hillbilly chicken ranch. Cool. I'm from East Kansas. Well, Central East Kansas, or East Central Kansas. But that's the jalapenos I'll be planting. I'm going to try to do that after a while, after it's cooled down a little bit. It's awful hot outside. I've gotten a little bit burnt today. And all I did was till a section that I'll be planting tomorrow. Because tomorrow, I'm planning on planting some okra. I've been saving my seeds. Really don't need that many seeds because okras are pretty sturdy. Um, 
but I'm gonna plant okra. But I also have my now this is gonna be a little bit crazy, but I have my uh chicken tractor that we built for raising our baby chicks to the size that they need to be before we can put them in with the adult chicks. And that we had sixteen of them but they all died and uh, something crawled underneath and got in there and just killed them. So now we're going to divide the area inside the chicken coop, which will be another video at some time when we have a chance to get it done. But we're going to divide the chicken coop in half. It's a huge chicken coop. And we'll put the babies in one side with the heat lamp and everything because there's electricity up there to plug it into. Where they can have a little nice warm area in the evening because it's nice and hot outside until they're bigger. And then uh, we can... Uh, let them loose and go in with the other girls and they all can come out and free range because I have five hens now that free range and I don't have any roosters. But we did have one but it, it died with the others. But tomorrow, the chicken chapter that I had built for those babies since it's a default and every time we put babies in there they die. We're going to put it in the garden tomorrow. We're going to grow cucumbers all over that chicken chapter. So, if you want to see that, there's no more video down the road. Or it might be in my garden tour. Tomorrow's a garden tour. So, I don't know if I'll have it. I'll have the cage in there, but I don't think I'll have the cucumbers planted yet. Because it's going to be seeds. And just see how fast we get things done with so much work. And I have, like, maybe a thousand more feet to dig. And I'm speeding my garden. Because the tractor broke down. Well, my husband says it's a piece of junk. We're wanting to get another tractor somehow so we can get um, more tilled up through the tractor. But, yeah, I thought so too. But I can't lift it. <laughs> I have two hernias. And my job is to just keep the house clean, put food on the table, and raise a garden for a little income at the farmer's market or buy, sell, trade if people want to buy things. So, uh, what's your name? Hi uh, Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. M mine's Marsha, in case you don't know. I think I mentioned it. But anyway, I'm going to put the chicken tractor in the middle in the area where I'm going to be planting. Because I'm going to put my uh, Peter Peppers. I'm in a contest with Garden State Gardener. He has a contest for who can grow the longest, not the not the girth in girth, the biggest, but the longest um Peter Pepper. And September fourth is a deadline. And if I can grow if I <laughs> can grow the longest Peter Pepper, I can get a hundred dollars. I really don't care whether I win or not. I already have a Peter Pepper's plant, but they need to be transplanted. So hopefully I can get that done either tonight or tomorrow. Since tomorrow is an off day, my husband can be home and help me since it's a holiday. I still got to visit my dad at the hospital. Let's see here. Susan, that's a nice name. Nice to meet you too. I'm doing my best to build my channel. I, I'm not very good at um, live videos because I, I get carried away and just talk, talk. I can talk your ear off. But last few days, I haven't posted any videos because this tooth here broke a, a while back. My mouth was swollen all the way up to my eye. It was like, and I called the dentist and they they set me an appointment for June 17th, and they wouldn't give me antibiotics or anything. So I was suffering for a couple of days, and my voice is still kind of, and my ear is also infected from all of this. So I didn't do any videos. In fact, I stayed in bed most of the day for two days, and I was aching. Couldn't get comfortable or nothing. But anyway, I'm talking about my garden, right? That's That's the main thing, my garden. I got to take care of my health. And that's why I'm growing the food so I can improve my health. But I'm going to grow in the middle of my garden. I'm just telling all these plants. I'll show you a little diagram I grew if you can make heads or tails out of it. 
Okay, here, whoops, here's the diagram. It's a star. Oh my, you can use clove oil. I know, and that clove, I have, I do essential oils. That's my other channel, Oils and Wellness with March. And I use clove oil on there, and boy, how do it taste awful. It numbs your throat if you, if you swallow it. Anyway, I rub it on everywhere. We're up inside, underneath my thumbs in here, and it's still real tender right in here. But it, it just felt, my nose would go numb like yours at the dentist's office. I use tea tree oil because that's an antibacterial one and it helped get the help break the infection down. And I also had uh, copaiba, which is like a sterile. It's like um, CBD without the CBD. I mean, it's that strong. And I use that to help magnify the other oils. And it got rid of the pain where I could actually bite down. I have a dentist appointment June 17th. Anyway, here's the little diagram. It's going to be in the center of my garden. Hopefully you can, hopefully you can make heads or tails out of it. Uh, okay. It, it's shaped like a star. And in the center, uh, right, whoops, there we go. Right here, I'm planting watermelon. This is going to be a huge star in the middle of my garden. I have a huge garden. I have to still work up the ground so I can plant this stuff. But in the center is going to be watermelon. And then I'm going to draw my, whoops, draw my lines to make my star in the middle of the garden. And inside each triangle, since there's uh, five triangles there, inside each triangle is going to be my corn. And the corn is going to be just the outline of that star. So like, uh, five corns uh, per line, so that's ten corns, and then on the, the big the big black dots is going to be tomato cages with uh, different kinds of squashes, pumpkin, cantaloupe, and butternut squash, acorn squash, and spaghetti squash all growing in them, so all those five different things. But they're going to be at least ten feet apart. So they're going to have plenty of room to move around in the cage and to come out if they wanted to. Hi, Rachel. Um, and then I, in between, okay, these are on the outside edge. And then there's corn on the line. And then this, beside each corn, corn there's going to be four beans. Uh, it, and the beans I want to plant is butter beans, pencil beans, um, lima beans, black-eyed peas, and kidney beans. And then if I can get 20 pounds of beans out of all that, that'd be nice because I can make some soups, mix them up and make some uh, soups, dry beans in a, in a uh, jar, and then I'll have each one of those can be a meal and add ham or whatever to it. But then I can have the regular beans uh, for things as well. But I hope this works out because that's what I'd like to do. I want to plant some carrots too. I thought, like companion planting. Yeah, I've been Googling on my phone to figure out what can, what grows good with like I just said, what would grow good with okra, you know? So I can save room and have more produce. Yeah, I have a big garden, but I want a lot of stuff. And um, we're getting three, that's what I'm called, three sisters. Yeah, I'm trying. Now, we had, we have, I had a raccoon on my front porch last night. because I put, I have an outdoor cat and it eats dog food. <laughs> But I put a scoop of dog food out there for him, and uh, my indoor cat likes to go outside all the time. Why? I don't know. But she's out there, and I open the door and call her, and there's a raccoon on the front porch eating the dog food. So as long as they eat the dog food, they're not getting into the garden, which there's nothing in there for them to eat. But that's why I'm doing three sisters to keep those coons out, I hope. And, uh, Let's see. As, as with the okra, I'm planting the cucumbers, but the cucumbers is going to be on that uh, chicken tractor. We're going to move it into the garden, and then row, uh, to finish off 
the length of the chicken factor is going to be okra. I don't want a lot of okra because once you start picking, it only takes two months and it's ready to start uh, loading off the, the food for you to eat. And I love okra. And I'm going to try to pickle okra this year. Do you have to fertilize heavy to do the three sisters or do they feed each other? I honestly don't know. I've never did this. It's an experience for me. I really want to, I really want to learn and I want to have a lot of food. One time we planted five rows. That's all. Five rows of corn. I, I almost started bawling. I come outside and all these stalks were falling over and there's no corn anywhere. It's like, oh my God, the raccoons got it. So that's why we're going to do all this prickly stuff around the outside edge. I, I'll show you again. I have the big black dots right here is going to be tomato cages with squash in them. And then on the outside edge of the whole garden, not the whole garden, but around the corn, the outside edge, it's probably going to be about 20 foot, but I'll, I'll, I'll be planting zucchini there because it don't go everywhere. Like your acorn squash and your butternut squash and spaghetti squash. The zucchini stays in one spot. They get big leaves and they just sit there like a bush. And then uh, yellow squash, I believe, is the same way. They don't they don't uh, go everywhere like some of these viney stuff. That's why I put the vineys in a tomato cage. Let's see if that works. I'll probably put some diatomaceous earth down. What do you think of that? I, that's all I have. Uh, sometimes I use my thieves, um, uh, thieves cleaning, uh, thieves, uh, what's it called? Thieves cleaner and mix it up with water and spray all my plants and douse up the ground around the, the roots. And that's what I did one year with my thieves. I'm going to buy 64 ounces of thieves oil, thieves uh, cleaner. Uh, this year and use that just for the garden because I'm going to be getting one of those pump things but I don't want to pump too much I'm just going to fill it up with like three capsules of thieves and then rest it with water and pump it up and spray all the plants once a week I've found since moving to the south I'll eat yellow squash and okra I have come to love them I wish I could say that about my husband <laughs> yeah He'll eat the squash one if I cook it in something and he don't know it's there. And he don't like okra, but I put it in uh, spaghetti sauce or stewed tomatoes. And I also throw that in my spaghetti when I'm making spaghetti. So I have okra and my meat and then <laughs> tomatoes and stuff in the garden. With, put it in my spaghetti. He likes it that way. Hi, buddy. My, treat, my, my birds are talking out of the clock today. I would like to get uh, that fish water or fish, what do you call it? The fish emulsion. And then you pump that in one of those uh, things you pump up to get the pressure so it can spray and get the fish emulsion. And someone said it stinks so bad it keeps the deers away or I think that's what it keeps something away. But um, I can spray that once a week. Uh, the Stivers Homestead, they use that and they use neem oil. Neem oil, yeah. The neem oil that go on the leaves, top and bottom of the plants, it helps keep the bugs off. And then the fish music and whatever you call it, uh, that spray at the base of the plant to help fertilize it once a week. Uh, oh, where's a good? <sighs> Where's a good place to buy the fish emulsion? Is it can you do you get it on Amazon.com or can you get it like a like a farm and ranch place? Maybe tractor spot. I don't know. I want to find the cheapest place and get me some. Huh. That sounds interesting. I do want to do do the fish. My husband's like was want me to quit doing gardening because I always get so much Johnson grass. That's why I'm putting the weed barrier down this year. But some like the corn section, no weed barriers going in there. Because I'm gonna have a lot of corn, a lot of beans, 
and the beans are going to hopefully grow up the corn. I'm sweating. I had to turn my fan down because it's too loud to hear me with the lawn really high. So a little bit hot in here. But I, I'm not going to put the weed barrier down in the in the corn section and the beans and squash. Besides, I'll have so many planted, uh, it won't hurt if, if a few weeds gets in there. I'm hoping this turns out really, I really want this to work this year. Because I like to can some stuff up. Yeah. I will. I need to take one. But. And I like I make I make homemade soaps. You'll see that on my other channel as well. Oils and wellness with Marcia. And I'm gonna use some of the flowers on my health Christian. And I'm gonna plant uh someplace in the garden to help bring the bees in to pollinate. And uh some marigold here as well. I think that'd be pretty with some cedar wood or something and cedar wood soap with marigold flowers in it what do you think Does that sound weird <laughs> i don't know yeah if i can get myself to look good i mean turn out good then after it cures i'm gonna figure out how to wrap them and label them with what's in it how i made it and uh then i can sell that as well um I also going to do lavender soap with my lavender leaf flowers and I love that smell and I could put I'm going to make all kinds of soaps with my oils and the ones that turns out like crap that don't look right when you cut it and everything we're just going to use it at home and sell the good ones can't sell crap right it works but you want it to look pretty when you sell it it's eye catching is what gets people to buy it and I'm going to try to plant some pink celery this year. I hope so. That's something we've wanted. I've wanted. My husband likes celery and peanut butter. I just eat celery plain. If I have peanut butter, I want to have the raisins too. <laughs> uh, where, where do you, who has a, who's a good soap channel to watch for soap wrap? I need to learn that because I have... Um, you know those little tins that you have popcorn in it, when you buy popcorn? I uh, I have one of those full of soap that's at our other house. We, right now we're living in uh, central east Kansas, but we also have in northern east, northeastern Kansas. Uh-oh, my husband's trying to call me. He's going to have to wait until I'm done with my video. So I don't know. He had to go mow uh, two two truck stops. He mows them by himself. They're huge. One of them has a big lagoon. And uh, yesterday he mowed the hotel that's there. So he has three big properties right there in the one area of uh, one area of the world. It's like 35 miles, 35 minutes away from here. I don't know how many miles, but a distance. <laughs> Oh, so you do soaps too? Uh, Susan, am I right? I'm not talking too loud, am I? <laughs> I don't know. I have to reach up just to be able to read the words. So Hillbilly Kitchen. I'll have to start watching your channel because I, I really want to learn more. Do. My grandmother used to make lysol. That's what I mean. I we just bought some lysol from uh, Water's True Value, and uh, I got a pound of it. So it don't take very much lye to make your soap, and you have to be real. But it's at. What are you doing? Come here. Every once in a while, I catch her either. 
throwing up a hairball. And then it looks like a turd. <laughs> Excuse me. But I was like, I have to go clean that room all the time because she's that's her room where she throws up her hairballs. And I don't like it. I can't help it when you have that much hair and it's almost summer and she needs to cool off. So oh, so how many subscribers do you have, Susan? Yeah, I make my own laundry soap too. I I uh, I made a recipe. I mean, I made a recipe. I made a video of that a while back uh, on oils and wellness. I believe it might have been this channel, might have been both channels. But I made two different batches. It lasts like six months because it's um, five gallons at a time. But I made fifteen gallons of soap my very first time making laundry soap. So I had lots of soap. I put them in quart jars and gave them away as gifts for Christmas. Three, four, three. Oh, that's better than my channel. Well, I'm still going to try to, if I haven't subscribed to you yet, I'm going to check you out and subscribe to you because I really want to learn some things. And I'm going to be making... <laughs> I'm going to be making some oils for the bedroom. Some uh, potions, not potions, what do you call it? Recipes. I have my book here, Lucy Libido. And <laughs> I'm going to be putting some of these, I'm going to be making some of these recipes uh, to help in, the, in between the sheets. And they have natural lubes for him and her, mood enhancer, diffuser blends. All kinds of things in here and I, and it tells you how to use it and I'm gonna learn it and I'm going to post it but I have to make sure I put 18 years in over and hopefully there no children getting on there and I'm causing problems because I don't want that to happen <laughs> I just want to get people to notice the oils and to use them because they're good for you so, <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to call it a potion. It's just a recipe, but yes, we can, Susan. I'd like to grow. I need to grow. My husband says, you've been doing this YouTube for how long? And you haven't started making any money? There's my, my indoor kitty cat. <laughs> yeah. She's a good cat. It's too hot to be holding her. She's wanting down. But yeah. My outdoor cat. Don't know where she went. He went. He just disappeared. He'll come up and I'll call him. And, you, and I'll go. Because he's a tomcat. Something like that. And he will look at me and call back. But won't come up. And then finally he came up to the porch again. And was rubbing on me. So I got him some water. So that's usually what it means when they rub on you. They're thirsty. And then I got him some food. When I come out with the food, he was gone. So when he comes around, he comes around. When he don't, he's, he's wild now. Sad, because I've had him since he was born. Well, right, Monday, I'll be doing uh, my garden tour. And uh, if you, if you want to watch... I'll show you. Uh, there's, I haven't. We had three days straight of rain, so I haven't been out there much. Today I just tilled up the area that I've dug up with the spade. Uh, and it's so hot. <laughs> I do like two rows at a time, and then come in and cool off, and then go back out. But I think my deal, a little bit of deal, came up, and I have some lemon balm. At least it tasted like it. Um, that was left over from last year which is kind of nice. I like lemon balm. So, but I want to make some, uh, I don't know if it's cough syrup or what it is, but it's uh, vanilla, it's vanilla beans and you split the beans and then you put them in the, your quart jar and add vodka to it. Set it, put a lid on it and set it in the closet in a dark, not closet, in a dark room, dark cool room and let it sit there. I think, I don't know if it's six weeks or what. And then you take a teaspoonful a day 
and it helps keep you healthy. Yeah, and it's not even summer yet. It's getting here though. I I wear a tank top. <laughs> My husband said he always has to rub stuff for me. I made a I made a recipe. Me, move this tripod back a little bit. Made a recipe for my sunburn. Which is um, in my spray bottle here. It says thieves and, and young living on the bottle, but oops, this is backwards. I'm having a hard time with this. A young living and then thieves right here. But Thieves is not this color, but this is aloe vera, water, lavender, and peppermint. The peppermint cools you off, and the lavender helps with the sting from the burn, and the aloe vera helps keep your skin moist, keep your skin from drying out, and then you have water so it can spray through the sprayer. Smells good, too, and it, and it helps with burns. So... I come up with all kinds of things from my oils, and I, I, I want to share it with people and have them do it, too. And it's like I'm talking to a hole in the ground most of the time. Yes, that's aloe. Yes, it is. And it's homemade. I just put 10 drops of peppermint. 10 drops of lavender, and then I just filled, filled this bottle like halfway uh, with aloe vera and then filled it up with water. I don't want to use this much so far, but I put it on. It feels so good when you put it on. It's cold, and I just, just let my, I say, just spray it on there and let it do its thing. Don't rub it in or nothing. I don't want you touching me. Just spray it if I told my husband. So he says, going to go through the sunburn thing again? Yeah, I guess so. So, when I'm done with my video today, I'm going to go outside and plant those peppers. They're not going to plant themselves. And then plant the Peter peppers for, what's his name? Uh, the Garden State Gardener is having that contest. So, I'm planting those today. And hopefully they will continue growing. But I got to lay my weed barrier down first before I plant those peppers. And then I'll plant them. But with the pita peppers, I'm planting orange pepper, orange bell peppers with it. Because I didn't get any orange bell peppers when we planted our peppers in the garden. So I'll be like, I'll have pita pepper, orange pepper, pita pepper, orange pepper until I get the real day. I never refrigerate it. I don't think so. I've never had. It still feels nice and cool. It smells amazing. You can smell the peppermint and the lavender. In fact, it makes my mouth water. And peppermint and lavender are both um, consumable, but I wouldn't consume the aloe vera. Some people do. They have the aloe vera drinks. At this one grocery store I used to work at, but I've never tried it. Let's see. Yes, that sounds good. It really does. And Rachel, I know you don't have a channel, but the first thing you need to do, see, you actually have a channel because you're watching the channels different videos. All you have to do is get your cell phone or whatever your camera you have and just make your first video. You have to make three videos before they start actually airing on the on the internet. So you just start making videos and then talk to people like Susan or me and then we can help each other. That's what the community is when you have friends that you make on the internet together and you you help each other and then build that bond and build the growth of your channel by reaching out to other people 
to have the same interests as you. But you don't have to. It's just, you know, a lot of people's doing it. Who knows? You might get a viral video zap, you know, one day, and then um, you hit it. That's what happened to Jason Crocker. He had one video, already has a million views. It's like, wow. YouTube is a great grow, grow. He is great for growing a channel. I hope so. I only have 200 and I'm trying to think. 200 something subscribers. 224 or something like that. My other channel has 81. Once I hit 100 subscribers on my Oils of Monas channel, I'm giving away a bottle of Inner Defense, which is a really good supplement for first signs of getting sick. You take one. You can take as many as you need. Like if you real bad, um, you can take two or whatever. The painter says you can take more than one. I only take one, sometimes two. But some people take it every single day, no matter what. I don't do that. I just take it. That's what they did in 2020 at that time. My, one, my friend Lori did that. But um, I can't afford to do every single day. I just do it when I'm feeling bad. Like when I had my mouth all messed up and my ear, my ear still sounds like I'm hollering down a tunnel. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Have you watched, uh, let me think of the channel I'm thinking of. Uh, what is it? Think, think Media. That's a good one to help you learn about how to do your, your videos. You know, I, I've been trying to do the end screen forever and trying to do, I finally figured out how to do an intro without computer, but I can't do uh, the yeah, the end screen or the, uh, the last part of your video because you have to have a computer to do it and internet. I've been doing everything without internet. I don't have internet. Um, once I start making money, I think my husband will allow me to you know, pay for that. I, I don't pay hardly anything. He takes care of everything. And I want that this channel to work so I don't have to feel like I'm dependent on him. Do you know what I mean? I want to be able to help. So I don't know. Any questions you want to ask me about my garden? Oh, do you know what parsnips is? That's a plant, a vegetable I've never ate before. And I have some parsnips, uh, parsnips seeds I'm going to plant in my garden this year. So hopefully, I just killed an ant. It's crawling on my arm. Hopefully I can get, um, yes, parsnips. Are they spicy like radishes or what? How do you describe it? The channel I mentioned for YouTube, you mean uh, Think Media? Is that what you're talking about? I love turnips. I just I planted a, a stock tank full of them, and they have a whole bunch. You'll see in my in my video. I took out a whole bunch of them, and they still need a whole lot more taken out because they're too close together. And I ate the turnip greens, some of them. Oh, well, husband won't like it then. But that's okay. I'll mix it with potatoes. I, I sometimes I'll just mix it with potatoes, blend it up, put a little sour cream in there, and some butter, and just whip it up, and he'll think it's you know, like strong potatoes. Like some potatoes are getting strong or whatever. Wish these ants. I'll keep getting these little baby ants in our house, and I don't know. I'm gonna have to get some peppermint oil because ants hate peppermint. And spray it around the bases. And around the windows, get those ants out. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to look up my... See, I'm kind of squirrely right now. 
Sync Media. Yep. I'm planting beets too. And I'm going to use Weed Barrier on it. It's my first time doing it with Weed Barrier. And I can't seem to get them to grow before. So I'm going to put every five inches, I'm going to plant a, a, a beet seed. But I'm going to put the Weed Barrier down and poke the holes in the Weed, weed Barrier. And then spread it out a little bit so there's room for it to grow. Because they'll look for the light and they'll come up through the hole. But then the ball or the root needs to get bigger. Because that's what you eat. Well, you can eat the leaves too. I like beet leaves. But I'm going to plant uh, like a three foot, which is what, 36 inches. So you can get uh, six plants per 36 inches. Maybe I'll just do five. And then plant that full all with beets. And then I can make pickle beets. My husband loves pickle beets. <laughs> I'm going to screw up here with that. Uh, I'm really behind. I can't believe this. Well, I'm planting beets for the first time, hoping to get some. And yes. Do you pickle yours or do, how do you do it? Making slips or cutting from a lot of flowers. I'm not very good when it comes to flowers. My husband and I built a flower bed when we first moved here. Uh, what was it? Seven, eight years ago. And <laughs> we grew some dragon, uh, dragon something, dragons, snap dragons. And they, they, all, they all died. He goes, we're not, I wasted money doing that. Sorry. Yes, they are. Ouch. I was just rubbing my lower back and then I bumped my finger and it twisted like that. Popped. Sometimes, you know, those root plants like turnips and potatoes and sweet potatoes and beets and radishes and parsnips, I guess, they're all, and carrots, they're all root plants you can take like one of each of those one parrot one parrot no that's a rooster one beet one potato sweet potato one all those root uh, root plants i mentioned chop them all up and roast them together and that is one yummy meal if you can get uh, if you can get your husband to like that That'd be a healthy meal for you, with along with your meat and whatever, if you eat meat. Yeah, I'm experimenting. I have these here. Oops. Well, here's some marigolds that I grew last, grew last year. And I think that's the seeds. Tell me if I'm wrong. Is this seeds or is, that's the petals? Or is that? Is that what I plant to grow them again, or what? Or can you tell? I can get that up here. Does that look like marigold seeds? Ah, there we go. That's what it is, but I don't, I don't know if that's the seeds or, or what. But I'm planting that, and I have these. You're supposed to soak them for uh, 20 or two hours, and then I'm going to plant that around the mailbox. I think that'd be pretty. And that comes back each year, supposedly. I thought I had more of these, but I guess this, I only have the one pecky. And I have some forget-me-nots that I'm going to plant. <laughs> In our front yard, we have um, a, a two toilets. And they're cemented to the ground, so they're solid. And then we have our name, our last name, Big Stone. We set it on those toilets. In uh, uniquely, it's uh, a brand of ours. No one's ever copied it yet, so it's kind of nice. And then we have, I'm going to put in the tank of the toilet, I'm going to fill with potting soil and plant flowers in there. 
That way I have to water it more because it's up out of the off the ground. So you have to keep it moist. Okay, petals are the seeds. So I'm learning. Yeah, I think they would too. If I can keep my husband from mowing them down, I feel like I need to put some some type of rocks around it um, and just say stay out of the center because I have flowers planted there. So we'll see. Oh, well, that's good because I'm trying to find different things. I, I have, I can't really do rose. Uh, I can do rose flowers, so I have some rose flowers, but rose oil is so expensive to put in my soaps. So, unless I can find a kit in there with all the different kinds of oils in it, and one of them has rose in it, then I can get me some rose oil, but it's like $200 just for one five ounce, five milliliter bottle. I can't afford that. And you can't get it for free with your points either. So I know my first time I ever bought flowers for a man was for my husband right after we got married. And I bought him some flowers. And instead of having the company deliver it like they have delivery for flowers, I drove to where he worked at. It was J.C. Penney's. And I went inside there and I said, these are for David. And then I gave a little card on there with it. And they said, oh, okay. And they called him on the intercom and I snuck out real quick and let him have his flowers and had a balloon too. I believe I can't remember. But that was, he's like, why do you buy me flowers? Because I love you. You know, if you want something, what you want to be treated, if you want to be treated the way you want to be treated good, so you treat other people the way you want to be treated, so they will treat you the same way. It don't work all the time. Not with my husband, anyway. Huh. Well, I was trying to tell him I want flowers, you know. But he never buys me flowers. That's okay though. He he buys me everything I need. He takes care of all the bills. He's a good man. So I'm happy. Hit hit what? For him to buy me flowers, I wish it was that easy. My sunburn itches already. When he after I get out of the shower, I'm gonna have my husband spray me down so I get that stopping. So it cools it down and stop itching. I don't want it to peel either. So I want to have a tan. But I'm so fair complected, I have to burn before I can tan. Does that make sense? been like that all my life there's three people in here but I only see Rachel and Sarah but who's the third person oh that is nice yeah I hope I can get my garden to work this year. We always get Johnson grass and I want to find a natural way of killing it, but it's such a strong weed because the, the roots grow sideways and up and down. And it's they're like as thick as my finger, maybe even thick as my thumb. They're big and, and a pain in the butt to get out and when you stick a shovel into it and dig you can hear it crunching but gotta do what you gotta do to get them out and then try to keep them from coming in because they're pain in the butt get them while they first start coming up and it's a lot easier to get out when you get 
behind. That's why I've got the weed barrier. When you get behind on your weeds and you have Johnson grass coming in, you've lost it. If it, if it goes over a foot tall, it's just going to get out, of it, out, of, out in everywhere. Water, like first in, in the morning when the sun's not up, like get up, like today the sun, I got up at four, don't know why, had to go pee, I guess. And then, then it started getting light around five something. And then at six, I had the alarm set for 6.30. It was really lit, light up then. But like if I wanna water my garden when it's cool, I since it's, the sun's up around five, at least it's light out outside around five. I can get out there and water everything. And then when the sun goes down, I don't like it in the evening because mosquitoes are so thick where we live. And I have to wa I water my garden and um, the mosquitoes just eat me alive. <laughs> but I have insect repellent for that. In fact, it's right here. Also from Young Living. And it don't have DEET in it. It's kind of old and some of the citronella and stuff's all over the bottle. This stuff is really good. It smells amazing. I would think that would draw the bugs to you, <laughs> but it repels them. Are you talking about the soil, the red soil? No, we don't. We have black dirt here. You know, that's one thing we have is, I, I've never had our soil checked, but we have black dirt. Oh, that's scary. We can hear coyotes, I don't know how far they are, but we have coyotes too, but, and my, my cat, I've had him since he was a baby. He's not really a bobcat, but he's big. He's big. And his brother is bigger than him a slight bit, but they, they're twins. And uh, we try to move, when, when we move to our other home, we live in both places, but when we move back and forth, we got stuff in both houses. We just go, and then when my husband harvests hay, and he has to move the cattle and, and stuff because we have cattle there. And here we don't. Here is just chickens and gardening. Over there, we have gardening and cattle and hay. And we have, I think, 400 acres over there. But a lot of work. I'd like to get me a trail cam, but my husband wants to get a um, drone first because he's wanting to start a channel. I already mentioned that before. I don't know if you remember that, Rachel, but I mentioned um, him going to have his channel, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Donnie Dugot Strikes Again. That's what he wanted to call it. We haven't gotten it. Um, set up yet he's got his outfit to wear when he's doing it you know he's going to have his own outfit to dress up in i haven't seen any but i'm sure there's rabbits someplace i'd like to grow rabbits because that's good food right there and they do fast they go a lot faster than um Chickens, because chickens is just one egg, and it takes 21 days, but these rabbits, they produce pretty fast. But then that's good food. I've never really cleaned a rabbit before. My mom did when we were growing up, but I... Yeah, I've seen that watching Jason Crocker's channel out there in Texas on their ranch. They have roadrunners out there, and they have a, what do you call them? Like, 
it looks like a deer, but it's not a deer. Um, something. Anyway, it's stuck in my head right now, and I haven't. I'm gonna be thinking about it until I, until I can remember what it's called. Coming from Wisconsin originally, it's funny to see the animals here in Texas. They have wild, wild. Uh, Uh, that's okay. Sometimes I do that when I'm watching someone's life and I have the things I need to do. I just listen and then something that catches me, that gets my attention, I then I'll come back to the video and, and comment on that. And then back to work in the house because I, like I have to keep my house clean, which is a constant job and it's never clean. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to, I wish that I could find some Kansas YouTubers um, that's near me that I can bond with and actually, you know, help each other on our, on, on our homesteads. You know, I can go help them every other weekend or whatever, and they can help me and I want pigs too. But we don't know where where to put pigs because here it floods. The other place that we live don't flood yet. <laughs> it shouldn't because we're way on top of the hill. But here it's uh we're living we live in the flood way, not a flood flood land, but flood way. I don't know how to describe the difference, but we li we have the highest house in the neighborhood we, there are only three people used to be four people live on this road but only three of us three different families live here now because the guy in the trailer moved away and one of them is like 500 feet away from us and the other one is like a quarter of a mile away from us but we're all on the same road what i'd like to do even though I'm talking about the garden, I'm scrambling around with other things running through my head. Maybe I have ADHD. <laughs> anyway, I want to figure out a schedule I can follow for my channel. I was told never feed. Here I am reading comments and going to comment on that when I had something else in my head, but it's okay. Um, let me see. No. Our water went down. Um, we had we rained three days here, and it, it's supposed to be flooding uh, until the end of today. They had flood warnings out, but hopefully it didn't flood. I don't see any water standing in a field across the street, so it's went down. So I don't think it flooded this time. Yeah, we have birds of prey, those big black ones that eat your eyeballs out when you call them vultures. We have those around here, and we have owls and um, crows. I don't know what all. But I still let my, my girls free range for the first time ever. We lived here eight years, and this is the first time I'm letting them free range because at the other place, we let them free range, and all we have out there is coyotes, I think, and raccoons, skunks, possums. Yeah, turkey vultures. I don't like that. <laughs> did you know they can turn their head almost all the way around? That's freaky. We w I went to the zoo and did a live video yes last week. And <laughs> I screwed up how, I don't know, but it was supposed to be for Kansas Misfit, but it went up as oil and wellness. And I'm talking about Kansas Misfit during the oil and wellness video, which is supposed to have been Kansas Misfit video. I just left it. Um, wasn't very good reception, but I went ahead and did a zoo vi video. Wow. 
Were they pink, the pelicans? Yes. And I, one time I felt like I was going to pass out when I was working so much and I was sweating and it was like lightheaded and I was trying to teal and I'm trying to get it done. And then I saw some vultures flying overhead and I said, hey, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> so go away. Yeah. My husband and I enjoyed the zoo. We was waiting on uh, a YouTuber. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with two old people on the couch. Debbie uh, is the lady, and her husband's name is Mark, but Mark had to work. Debbie and her mom stopped in Emporia, and we got to go um, meet each other, and we ate at a restaurant. That was why we went to the zoo while we were waiting on her, because she said she won't get there until 1.30. It was last Sunday, and we ate at the restaurant with her. Hmm. I'd like to get pigs. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, we have so many wolf spiders in our garden. I wish the chickens would just eat them. <laughs> uh, they're supposed to be good for the garden, eat other insects and stuff, but I don't like spiders of any kind. Uh, gives me willies. We have a lot of black littles here in the house. I saw one here in this room. Yesterday was one in the kitchen. There was one in the bathroom. And there's one in the bedroom on our bed. It's like, I got to get rid of the black widows. Because <laughs> that's not fun. That's dangerous there. So. Let's see. 15 more minutes. It'll be 5 o'clock. And then at 5 o'clock, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get off so I can get those peppers planted before my husband gets home. He probably won't be home for a couple more hours, but he's mowing those two, ho not hotels, truck stops with one more, one person, and it's huge. And he, his channel, Donnie Dugat, strikes again. He's going to make a track. He's going to make a big kite and hook it on the back of his lawnmower <laughs> on a windy day like it was today and yesterday. Take that kite out there, mow his lawn, and fly kite. <laughs> That's what he wants to do. So we'll see. A songbird? No. Uh, what is, you mean the ones that play music? Like Bob, Bob, Bike. Something like that. I like that. And I like the owls. Yeah, I need to water my tomatoes and my peppers. Even after I get these peppers planted, just water the heck out of them because it needs watered again. Even though we had rain for like three days ago, three days in a row. I like to water them like a little bit every evening, but not when it rains. Well, I guess you can still make money as a transmission. We need a truck that needs a transmission. Uh, it went out on us. We bought it from my husband's sister. And then less than a month later, the engine, the engine, the transmission went out. I never like to buy things from family because they always screw you. Huh. I don't know. I've never have. All I did with for these tomatoes was diatomaceous earth so far, but I'm gonna spray my thieves spray on them and then get some fish in motion or something like that. So Huh. I learned something today. I have to do some research on that because I don't know. Yes, a break from the rain. 
but for two days, the last two days, I've been down and out really bad. We have, a, we have two trucks with the transmission out here. One of them, you can still drive it. Uh, just have to put a whole lot of transmission fluid in it before you drive it because it leaks. The other one has a, something broke on it and it needs replaced. But we're not keeping the red one. But we, we want to keep the white one. That don't make sense. I don't even know. The red one's a GMC. And I think the white one, I'm not for sure. They're my husband's toys. We use them for pulling his lawns, lawn mowers and stuff. Huh. Someone uses like, I've seen fish heads and you drop them down inside there before you put your dirt over it and then plant your tomatoes and the fish head fertilizes it to get it started. But I don't know. Can he request to have the parts uh, that they take off given back to him? And else you get a recoil, you know, like you take your starter off, you bring the starter in, you get money back out of it or something. I don't know. But like they'll do that to women. If you go into a mechanic shop and you buy yourself, they'll screw you so bad because they think you don't know nothing, whether you do or not. Huh. Wow. I never heard of raw eggs in there either. Good thing to try, I guess. Or do some research on it. I've never tried it. Well. I want to retire. I can't work. My body won't allow it. But I can't retire because I'm only 58. <laughs> so I have a ways to go. So that's why I'm just going to garden. And if we if we have an abundance, I'll, I, of course, I'll be donating to the abundant harvest for people who can't afford food. Or before. I've been in that position before. In fact, every month, the second Tuesday of the month, they give away groceries, and I'm in that line, even though we aren't so poor, we can't buy groceries, but it does help. But then, because um, I, you know, the Bible says you're supposed to tithe one tenth of your earnings, including your garden. But don't give your junk stuff. You want to give the, like the, the best part of the of the ten percent of the best of it. Give it to the poor, uh, because we're that's what we're supposed to do. And did you know? If you have an apple orchard, you're not supposed to sell the apples on the ground. If they fall on the ground, you're supposed to give those to the poor for free. I did not know that. I think it's written in the Bible. I was re I was listening to the Bible being read over the internet, and it said something like that. Uh. Yep. And I I uh I'm always after my husband when it comes to tithing. And I won't go any further with that because I don't want him if he watches this to get mad. So that subject's done. What's gleanings? 
leftover gleanings. I'm not sure what you mean. I never heard that word before. Showers sure gonna feel good today. Might have to take a cold shower because I'm so hot. <laughs> it helped cool me off. It feel good on my sunburn too. So well, thank you. I already knew that, but it's nice when someone sees it and acknowledges it to me. I, I think I'm a good person too. But wait till you meet me in person. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm a good person. Oh, I see. That's what I do sometimes when I'm at the farmer's market trying to sell the abundance of things that, you know, I have too much of. Because when it comes to yellow squash, it, I it grows so much. I get so much yellow squash; it's not funny. And I'm the only one that eats it. And I I like to slice it up and freeze it, and then I can eat it later uh, after I thaw it out. But I wish I had a freeze dryer. And then I can really store food up for a long time. Uh -huh. Well, my husband don't think I'm humble. I'll be playing a video game, and I want to get three stars, the best, and I'll finish it up. But and I didn't get to three stars, and I I start all over again, and I won't go on to the next level until I get three stars. My husband says you might as well be humble and just accept that you're not good enough. It's like oh, that made me want to do it even more. I want to learn how to do compost because I never did it yet. Oops. See you. Oh, yeah, it is that time. I guess I'll see you later, um, Susan. I'm probably going to go... I need to plant those plants. I was going to watch um, Pathways Homestead because they, they live like 30 minutes away from me. But yet, we're not really good friends yet. But we still are. I still consider myself her friend. Huh. I wish I had raised beds. I guess uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to get off of here too, because I need to I need to get those peppers in there and get it watered before dark, before dark, because the mosquitoes will be eating me, and I don't want all those bites all over. Just I hate it. <laughs> I have my insect repellent, but with me being sweaty, it won't work as good. You have to do it while you're dry. Because when you sweat, you need to put more on. Otherwise, you're it's just diluted with the sweat, and it won't work as good. But I, I, I want to get me some pigs, but we have to get a good cement around the edges so they can't get out. Because we're not going to use elect electric fence. And then we can make some money, because we want to Fatten up some, keep some, and sell some to those who want some pork that's home homegrown without all the chemicals in it that happens in those factories. I guess my raised beds is just junk that we have laying around, like that metal thing for my herbs, and then we have a stock tank that I have my... Um, turnips in and I'm, I'm planting some sweet potatoes in another stock pick, a six foot one. 
We're going to do that hopefully here soon. I got to get them in the ground. They're supposed to be in there around May 1st. And here it is, practically June 1st. And they, they take 100 and I don't know how many days. 150, I think, or 190, something like that, for sweet potatoes to grow. Uh, big, nice, good sweet potatoes. But we watch um what's it what's the channel called? Bumblebee Bumblebee Bumblebee's Homestead. I think it's what it's called. I've been watching for a long time. It's uh Tina and Mark and they they have all kinds of raised beds and gigantic beautiful garden all the time, big produce. And uh they have a, a, a soil mixture that they mix up, and I wrote the recipe down for it, and we're going to fill the stock tank with cow manure uh, that's already decomposed into dirt. Fill it half, like the edge of the, let me get in the middle here, about this much from the top of the stock tank, there's a, a line or a crease, that's how full you want to put the water in it, I guess. Anyway, they uh, we're going to fill it up to that, and then leave that much space, and then we're going to put the peat moss and the bone blood, bone, bone meal, and all these other different things that's in that soil and mix it in it. And then we'll plant our sweet potatoes in that uh, mm -hmm. stock tank. But that's at the other property. Oop, my phone's getting red dye. It's 15%. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to have to plug in my phone because it's in the other room and get it charged back up. But I'm glad I got to have some people actually watch my video and 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 I believe that I really enjoy having you as company, your good company, Rachel. And what's the other girl's name? Susan. I think she said her name was Susan. I think I'm going to check out her channel and, and learn some things and we're going to help each other grow. That's what I want to do. And I'm glad I found somebody who has the same interest to me that can help as well. Yeah, me too. So if you want to send me an email sometime, you can talk uh, in between videos. <laughs> anyway, um, it, it's not on here, but it's in on all my other, in the description on all my other videos. Anyway, I see you next one. I'm going to do Wells and Wellness tomorrow um, if you want to watch it around 3.30. Anyway, I'll go ahead and let you go. Ta-ta.